Hello again, and welcome back to the Ultimate Mala Pony Convention panel about conventions. We were left off with what the number count of Plus Toys. Plus Toys. Let's see. Reach around. 100 to 150 dollars in vendors. Why so much? I'm starting to try to say this, but I'm trying to show you guys. They reached around $150 in the bit. Why so much? Demand. Demand. And supplies. This is something financial wise, so just ignore this. I'll go back to the convention account later, see what ones are the biggest ones, and see what ones are the smallest ones. The plus number, uh, plus store making makes more money of all auctions. The biggest bid was around. Ten grand or ten thousand dollars. The biggest ones are like the five foot tall plush toys. They cost around two thousand to ten thousand dollars because of the how much is made. Okay, I already showed you. What happens with the attendance? The attendance number, like, for instance, uh, 40,000 people going to BronyCon. That would reach around $100,000 if you add everybody up. And the sponsors, which they have 25, I think. Man, my mouth is so sore right now. I'm trying to speak so, so firm right now. What I'm trying to tell you right now is that this, this is what I'm trying to tell you. The uh, like if you um, I'm gonna say don't bring less money to the any convention because if you have Twenty dollars it won't do a hundred dollars in order to do this the do the vendors price everything up very high so don't blame them for that don't blame yourselves just blame what the comedy does not me I'm not saying this I'm just giving you an example what I'm saying now what I'm trying to say is is that this convention that you that that I'm always go to is um, Dallas Darby night and they have over 
six thousand people coming every year. That's a lot. But that one, the the one, the first six conventions that were released in twenty twelve are the ones I labeled in the timeline. They're not from twenty twelve. The one from Dallas Time is from twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen conventions go under seven to ten. I'm not. I'm just giving. You know what? I need to label the next one coming up. Let's see. Let's see what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to figure out what one comes next because I leave it everything based on number. Oh, give me a minute. You know what? I'm going to put Dallas Not My Night on number seven. I just went to this past year, so they have 6,000 attendants. Number 8. Miestia Equestria. They only lasted for three years, so 2015. 1,550 attendants in total. Number nine. I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to do something else.